the lighting is a big deal. If it's done poorly, the scene suffice, but when it's done well, the scene creates a life. In this video, I'll show you the secret to create audio realistic lighting. In this lesson, you will see how to light a scene using HDR map. As we can see, our scene is illuminated with three point lights. Using gray RT and getting closer to our reflective object, we can see our three point lights with black environment as default setting. So let's start to light with an HDR map. So we start deleting our lights. And to employ an H HDR map in our scene, we need to put a very light doom type. We can put it at any place in our scene. Click non button. and search for the HDRI click the HDRI and choose your map I had already downloaded this map from hdrskydoom.com I can show it to you For me, this is a cool site. You can find any HDR quality you want. So don't hesitate to visit it and test the maps by yourself. So going back to our file, we click the map. Open our material editor and drag our map to the material slot. At first, we will find the mapping type as angular, so it will look strange like this. But in our case, we need to change the mapping type to spherical. Let's launch the real time render and immediately see the effect. As we can see, our scene is too dark. For that, we need to increase the light multiplier to maybe 50 or 60. And let us note, with this, with just this type of light, we can't use luminance or luminous power or radiant power. We just can use default as units. And here is our result. We can see our sky reflection and our ob our other objects reflection. And now our entire scene is illuminated with HDR map. So let's set up our final render. Mm -hmm. 
cache and the correct preset to custom in our case two minus four and for the light cache subdivision let's just put 600 and simple size I don't forget also to change the output size let's choose 1280 by 720 let's zoom out and launch our final render Here is our final result. HDR has done the job for you. For 3D.sk and Better Brain Fresh, I had decided to make a series of tutorials after seeing many people's had issues with HDR highlighting. I hope that this video is gonna help you to improve renders. For any further information, visit my site and contact me by mail at butterbf3d at gmail.com. Stay tuned for my next tutorial. Cheers!